everybody, I am here today to do a book review slash movie review on the book slash movie Warm Bodies. I just finished reading this book a few days ago, I guess, and I nearly couldn't put it down. Like, I was reading it on my lunch break at work. I was reading it up until 1 o'clock in the morning. This book was friggin' awesome. First, like, I'm really into zombies right now. I'm watching all the Walking Dead shows and everything like that. So I'm just really into zombies right now. And this whole idea of this different take on zombies, I just thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. Warm bodies. I'm just going to start off by telling you a bit what the book was about and what I thought of the book, which you already know by now after me just saying how much I loved it. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the movie and how they compare and what I thought of the movie and yada yada yada. Starting with the book, this book is about a zombie named R. And R can't remember his name or his past life, but he really wants to and he really, he feels different as a zombie because he has all these different, you know, intelligent thoughts and he's wondering if he's the only one that feels this way and he is a zombie who is obviously already dead, but he doesn't want to die. Because as you know, you can kill a zombie by debraining them and shooting them in the head and all that good stuff. But he realizes that he doesn't want to die, and he thinks that that's kind of a weird thought for a zombie to have. Now, he then meets this girl named Julie, and how he meets her is that he actually... This is, I'm going to be spoiling a lot of this stuff, so if you don't want spoil alerts, then maybe don't watch this because I just want to talk about this book. So he meets this girl, Julie, and how he meets her is that he actually ends up eating her boyfriend. So as the zombies in this book, as they eat the brain of someone, they actually kind of absorb their memories and they remember things. So R ends up eating Perry, who is Julie's boyfriend's brain, and he sees all of these memories of Julie and then he sees Julie and all he wants to do is just keep her safe. So while the other zombies are attacking everyone, R just goes to Julie and he says, come with me, I'll keep you safe. I just want to keep you safe. Well, he doesn't say, he's like, keep safe, safe, zombie. So then he ends up taking Julie back to the airport where all the zombies are living and he keeps her in his 747 airplane, which is his home. And she just slowly starts realizing, like, what are you? Like, you are not like any zombie I've ever seen. It's getting really bright. Sun go away. So they develop this friendship, and then feelings obviously get developed. And, you know, zombies aren't supposed to have feelings and all this stuff. So Julie starts thinking that maybe there's, like, a cure for this whole thing. So Julie ends up going back home and R follows her there and basically they're trying to convince everyone like I'm fast forwarding through this obviously but they try to convince everyone that you know he's different he's changing that all the zombies like they're changing so then at the very end there is like this kind of battle between the bonies which are zombies that have no flesh left and they they're just psycho and then the fleshies which are the zombies who are starting to change back and then the people, and it's just like this struggle, and basically, obviously, R ends up getting healed, and he turns back into a human, and him and Julie fall in love, and he turns back into a human after they kiss, which I just think is like the cutest thing, and I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but I was so pumped up, and thinking back to it now, like, would I make up with a zombie? Mm, blech, probably not, like, they don't even brush their teeth. I just think that this book was, um, it's just such an interesting take on zombies and the different relationships, there was such a good character development throughout the book, like I was in love with R, I thought he was amazing, he was so cute and I like Julie, she's very, she was like a firecracker and then R's best friend M, I loved him too and I thought their relationship was really cool how, you know, they were like grunting at each other and then it gradually started using more words and things like that. So this book Overall, I give a 5 out of 5. I think that this, like, I would read it again. I'm trying, I want my boyfriend to read it because it's so good. I'm just, everybody should read this book. I freaking love it. Now, moving on to the movie. I watched the movie literally immediately after I finished the book. I finished the book and then I went online and I watched it. I streamed it like the worst possible version of it online and it was all muffled and things like that but I just needed to see it. So I really liked the movie. It was kind of different from the book. They obviously, like, movies always stray from the books. That's just something that you come to expect. There was a few things that I 
kind of were sad about in the movie that were in the book that I would have liked to see. First of all, Julie's father in the movie kind of ended up understanding everything at the end and he accepted it all, but in the book he, spoiler alert, he dies in the book and he just can't, he goes crazy and he just can't accept it. Another thing that was in the book that wasn't in the movie was the relationship between Perry and R. So after R ends up eating Perry, he kind of like stays with him in the book and they have this whole cool like relationship as Perry's trying to pass on into the other world as you know, R is trying to move back into the human world and it's there's dialogue between them for the entire book and that just wasn't there in the movie and I kind of miss that. I know that's probably like kind of hard to... <sighs> my legs. My legs fell asleep so I had to change the way I was sitting. The whole Perry R relationship was kind of missing from the movie which was disappointing and I also kind of wish that there would have been a bit more... I don't know, character development I guess in the movie but like like I said before, it's a movie and you only have so much time and I think that they did a really good job of making it into a movie. But I really enjoyed the movie and the book, so it was just kind of a different experience between both of them. A few things that I did really, really like about the movie is I think the casting was spot on. Like Nicholas Holt, I, or Holt, I don't know how you pronounce his name. First of all, I love him. I think he's fantastic in everything and he's so, so cute. He was the cutest zombie I've ever seen in my entire life. I think he was great for that role. So the actress who played Julie, Teresa Palmer, I thought that she was really good for Julie. My only issue with her is some, she sounds like Kristen Stewart and I just really don't like Kristen Stewart. Like this was even before the whole nobody liked her because of Twilight, like blah, blah, blah. I don't like her acting. I think it's pretty crap and her voice just bothers me. So I find these two have very similar voices and that just kind of bothered me a bit. But other than that, I thought she was great for Julie. And then Rob Cordry for M, he was perfect. And something I liked about the movie is that M was like even more awesome in the movie than he was in the book. He was hilarious. He was the comedic relief. I just really liked it. James Franco's little brother, Dave Franco as Perry. I wish he was in the movie more because he is too cute. Nora, yeah, she was supposed to be like african-american and she was just like this i don't know she was to me the character nora in the book was a lot cooler than the character nora in the movie because they kind of left nora out of a lot of it but i don't know i like that actress i think that she's cute so no complaints so i just think that this book is for sure worth your read the movie is for sure worth you going to see and i love them both and i'll be promoting warm bodies until the day i die until everybody reads it because you gotta read it. It's so good. I love it. And I think I forgot to mention the book is by Isaac Marion. Marion? And this was actually his debut book and what a friggin way to come out into the book world. Fantastic. So those are my thoughts on Warm Bodies, the book and the movie. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!